everyone. Welcome to another maths lesson with me, Mrs. Dodd. Today we are going to practice using our number bonds, 220, to help us with our subtraction. Can anybody remember what subtraction means? It does, it means taking away. Okay, today we're going to use a bar model and tens frames to help us find the answers and solve the problems, okay? So here in my bar model, I've got 20 as the whole number and I've got two parts here that make up 20. And we're going to find the missing number that goes here in the space. So I know 20 take away 13 is something and we're using our number bonds of 20 to help us today. So first of all, I'm going to write that as a number sentence, a number calculation underneath. So my biggest number comes first in a subtraction calculation, taking away 13 and it equals something. Now some of you will know your number bonds of 20 straight away, which is great, but some of you might need to use those objects or those tens frames, or a number line to help us. Okay, and that's fine. Okay, so today I'm gonna to use a tens frame to help us. Here we go. I've got 10 and 10, because we know 10 and 10 make 20. And let's just look back. What am I taking away to find the answer? 13, I'm taking away 13. I'm going to start from the bottom when I'm taking away my tens frames. So I'm going to put a cross here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so I've crossed 13 out. I'm going to count what's left that haven't got crosses on the circles that haven't got crosses on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And of course, I know 13 and seven make 20. So that number goes there. 13 and seven make 20. 20 take away 13 is seven. Let's have a go at another one. So this time, in my bar model, I'm going to have my number 20 at the top and I'm going to have 9 there, 9. I'm going to use my tens frame again, but I'm going to draw another one because otherwise I would get confused. So you can draw them at home as well or at the grown up, grown up too if you want to use this method today like me or if you've printed up a number line you could use that as well so I'm just drawing them in and why have I got two tens frames because 10 and 10 make 20 okay let's go back to our bar model 9 and something make 20 20 take away 9 equals something here okay 20 take away 9 have a think of your number ones to 20 do you know the answer already well done if you've popped it in the the space let's take away 9 and find the answer 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this time I'm not going to count all the circles because I know this is 10. So I'm going to count on from 10. 10, 11. So 11 is my answer. And of course it is because we know 9 and 11 make 20. Fabulous. Let's try one more. I've got 20 in the top and I've got 10 here. What's going to go? There, I'm going to do 20 take away 10 equals 
Can you remember? 10 and something makes 20. Let's check and try and find the answer. I'm taking away 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm left with 1 tenth frame. So the answer is 10. And of course it is because we know that 10 and 10 make 20. Okay, this is your maths challenge for today. Try and complete the subtraction, missing number calculations. Remember your number bonds of 20 to help you find the missing answer. Use a written tens frame to help you and you can even display it as a bar model as well. There they are. See you tomorrow.